prophecy brings life. It cancels death assignment, demonic power. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is say a blessing. Psalm 107 verse 2. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. We want to look at prophetic words. Proclamation of God's word has a tendency to break barriers and release us to our destiny. They take care of the problems from the root. You see, prophecy goes before you. In Genesis 20 verse 7, Now therefore restore the man's wife, for he is a prophet, and he will pray for you, and you shall live. But if you do not restore her, know that you shall surely die, you and all who are yours. You know, there's a law of the first mention. This is the first place prophecy or a prophet was mentioned in the Bible. And that was when that king took Sarah, the wife of Abraham. And all the women in the land were barren. And God said, restore. So when, when a prophet declared the prophetic words, restoration takes place. Blessings are restored. All encompassing blessings. Earth, marriage, relationship, and the list continue. Then we have life. Prophecy brings life. It cancels death assignment, demonic power. You know, prophecy releases grace of a finisher. Solomon finished the temple. Zerubbabel finished the temple. You know, prophecy open wounds. What you conceive, you will carry and bring forth. So it ends barrenness. For example, in Zechariah 1, 18 to 21, you know, uh, Prophet Zechariah said, Then I raised my eyes and looked, and there were four arms. And I said to the angel who talked with me, What are these? So he answered me, These are the arms that have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Then the Lord showed me four craftsmen, and I said, What are these coming to do? So he said, These are the arms that scattered Judah, so that no one could lift up his head. But the craftsmen are coming to terrify them to cast out the arms of the nation that lifted up their own against the land of Judah to scatter it. You see, through prophecy, that limitation was removed. How do you see prophecy fulfilled? How do you claim those blessings? You need to have faith. You need to have expectations. Hebrews 11, 1. Have faith-filled thoughts. Proverbs 23, 7. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So you need to say a blessing. Let's say this blessing together. Through prophetical words, give it to Zerubbabel in Zechariah 4, 6 to 7. This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Who are you, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? You shall become a plain, and it shall bring forth the capstone with shout of grace grace to it. Do you know Governor Zerubbabel, in his time, completed the war. All obstruction was removed through word of prophecy. Say a blessing.